Aries, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to the videos, when it's for you, no particular subject um, will take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your first house, this could be for you. Um, once again, thank you for the um, continued support. The easiest way being the likes, the shares, subscribes, comments, does wonders for the growth. Thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchased private reads, the extendeds, buy me a coffee's donations. I wouldn't be able to continue doing this without you guys, so thank you very much indeed. Um, cross watches your modern welcome and all the information you need is in the description box below okay i feel like there's a very positive energy coming your way guys um for um aries this new moon that we've we have today in aquarius um it'll be in your 11th house of gains so i'm very much seeing like wheel of fortune uh, ace of pentacles type of energy uh, you might be seeing a lot of twos we've got two of ones in the uh, two of swords there Interestingly, the two of 22nd, which is tomorrow. Two of Wands is the my retrograde card, personally. From tomorrow, everything goes direct. Uranus is the last one to go direct. Um, so there's going to be no planets until probably the middle of April. So it's going to be like all systems go. So let's see what's coming in for you. Let's do two more. <clears throat> We have the Knight of Wands. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm kind of getting somebody's trying to manifest you here. Because in this deck, it's like a continuation. That's the actual page of Wands in the background. And there's, there's an energy coming from the crown chakra or the third eye it kind of feels like there's some sort of like telepathic spark possibly let's see something we're aware of something we're not aware of recent past advice potential outcome okay The Eight of Wands, The Awakening, which is the Justice, uh, uh, Judgment card. Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups, six, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's there's some sort of um, possible message coming in soon with the Eight of Wands here. And especially without somebody manifesting, like communication, the page of wands is trying to get some sort of spark going. Um, I'm hearing crowded house, don't dream it's over. Um, so this could be somebody from the past, it doesn't have to be. Um, or this could be somebody trying to manifest you back. I kind of see you being in a very strong position anyway for what's coming on here. So we've got the Knight of Wands. What we're aware of is the Five of Cups. So there's been some sort of de down and out depression. Uh, someone's upset about the way things were ended. Um, but interestingly, the Two of Cups is still standing. What we're not aware of is the Ace of Pentacles. There is some sort of gains coming here. Uh, it could be financial gains. Um, because you're potentially sitting pretty very, very soon. In the recent past, we have the Hermit. So this could be a situation that's put you, or felt lonely and isolated. I'm getting like a loneliness aspect here. Um, perhaps you've taken yourself away. Perhaps there's been um, um, several several months for some of you. Five months of, of, of real sort of isolation and, and um, keeping yourself to yourself. Could be up to five years. Um, your advice is the king of pentacles and 
I'm not really seeing this as advice. I'm kind of just seeing this as um, prepare for whatever's coming in. This Ace of Pentacles uh, is with the King of Pentacles. As I suppose it could be if there is an influx of, um, of gain that's coming in, which it does feel and suggest, especially with that 11th house new moon. Um, it could be seek out advice from a King of Pentacles energy. Um, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. This could be just somebody that's financially savvy, somebody that's um, you know a financial advisor or anything like that. There's there's an energy of here of seeking out um, financial advice. It's this this possibly is nothing to do with relationships. This is possibly all to do with um, uh, an increase in finances. But for some of you, it's both because your outcome is the two of cups. So these two cups that are um, still upright here is coming together perfectly. This could be a situation that is somebody's manifesting you back into the life, something that ended up in disappointment. But I kind of feel like for those of you that have more focused on finances, this is a wonderful partnership. This is somebody that can help you. Like I said, this could be a professional. This could be... Um, uh, a financial advisor or, or anything of the such, something that can help you. Because at the end of the day, if if it's a, an area you're not familiar with, then, you know, do seek uh, further advice. It's a wonderful spread and it's something that's... Um, there's definitely somebody watching you. I just tried picking up the uh, cards there, the Page of Swords at the bottom. Um, so somebody is definitely watching you, possibly on social media. Um... Eight of Wands, bottom of the deck, someone's rereading text messages, that type of thing. Um, but there's um, real positive potential change here. So I'm going to look for the Page of Wands that's hiding in the background, and I'm also going to look for the Ace of Wands, um, because that's what's kind of trying to be lit. Okay. So the Ace of Wands is with the Page of Wands. Um, so there's four cards here. We have the Page of Wands. <coughs> it is either side the Ace of Wands in Death. And we also have the Five of Pentacles. Now I'm kind of seeing this as... This could be you just working your magic or working your manifestations. There is an end to financial hardship or whatever um, uh, that means for you. Uh, this could be 8th house uh, energies. 8th house uh, is Scorpio energy with the death card. 8th house is debt. Uh, this could be manifesting a, a way out of debt. This, Whatever it is, whatever that's taking place, um, there is a brand new beginning. There's a spark here. That page, as you can see, is the one that's approaching in the background. So whatever's going on, somebody's manifesting their way out of a financial setback in some way and I kind of feel like this is going to bring you an element of freedom and help um, speed up some sort of process allow you to do your ascension work allow you the rest allow you the stability with the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, uh, and best of luck to you, you this is retirement. Um, it could be something that you don't see coming. Interesting. Okay. Whatever you're doing at Aries, keep doing it because it's working. There's new potential love coming in. Um, there's certainly financial uh, blessings on the way. Um, but either way, if you need advice, seek it. 
because there is a, a very good partnership uh, in the fold here with the King of Pentacles. Okay. I like it. All right, guys. Um, in your extended, we'll look at this further. We'll see what this um, this financial gain, opportunity, whatever it is, uh, that's coming in. And it's going to leave you um, feeling very, very comfortable. I'll just ruin that. Never mind. Okay. So we've got Mars in Scorpio. We have Virgo. We have Venus in Cancer. Uh, Mercury in Sagittarius. Libra and Scorpio. Um, Jupiter in Libra, I think. Moon in Cancer. Sun in Capricorn. Um, Mercury in... Virgo, Saturn in Taurus, Moon in Taurus, Sun in Gemini and Leo. Wands, Pentacles, Cups, Swords, everyone's here. Those are your standouts. Let me know if it resonates. If you can join me in the uh, extended, fantastic. If not, see you next time. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing. Bye.